Hello and welcome to our number talk. Today we are looking at the expression 47 plus 15. And what we do in a number talk is we use mental math. That means no paper, no pencil to try to solve this expression. And then when we have our solutions, we look at all the different ways we could have figured it out. So before we go any further, please go ahead and do that. Pause the video, figure out 47 plus 15 in your head. When you have the answer, unpause the video. We'll look at all of our different solutions together. All right, so the first thing we could do is we could use the associative property. And we're going to be using this quite a bit. This is our grouping property that lets us take three or more add-ins and group them in different ways. And the strategy we're going to use this with the associative property is to make tens. So what we could do is we could take our 47 plus 15, and we can say, you know what, making a 10 makes it a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 15, and I know that 47 is 3 away from 10. So I'm just going to kind of do this. I'm going to say 15 is really a 3 and a 12. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three right here, and I'm going to pretend that they're over here and add them up with this 47. So I'm going to steal 3 from the 15, add it with my 47, and that's what the associative property does is it lets me add up the 47 and the 3 first. So I broke up that 15. And 47 and 3, well, I know I wanted to get up to 50. So that's going to get me 50 and 12, and that's a little bit easier to add up. So 15, 12, that's going to get me 62. So hopefully that's what you got in your head, 62. So that's making tens. We could also use the associate property to do some friendly numbers. So friendly numbers are just numbers that are a little bit easier to add up. So we're going to take our 47 and 15, and we're going to say, you know what, that 47, it's really close to 45. So I'm going to kind of break up the 47 into 45 and 2. So I've got 45 plus 2 plus 15. Now what that does here is I'm going to take my... 45, and then I'm going to take my 15. That's going to be a little bit easier for me to add. Now I need my commutative property, that's the order property, to let me kind of flip the orders here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to group up my 45 and 15. I'm going to keep all of my add-ins the same. I just want to kind of switch the order so I can get my 45 plus 15 together because those are going to be a little bit easier. That's going to be 60 plus 2 and that's going to get me back up to my 62. So we could have kind of broken up our 47 into two different numbers to make it a little bit easier to add up. We can always use place value. So place value is where you break up each of these numbers into their expanded form. So 40 plus 7, and then I'm going to do 10 plus 5. And then you just add those up in two different chunks. Now, we're going to use the associative property to regroup them and the community property to reorder them. Because what I want here is I want my 40 and my 10. I'm just going to add my 10s first. So I'm going to do 40 plus 10. Then I'm going to take my 1s second. I'm just going to kind of draw that up there. So then I'm going to do my 7 plus 5. So if I were to add my 10s, 40 and 10, that's 50. 7 and 5, that's 12. It's still going to get me up to 62, but that's just a different way to add this up. We can also add up in chunks. Now, this is a pretty good way to do it, because what it does is it just takes the whole first number plus the 10s place of the second number. It's going to do it all in one big chunk. So 47 plus 15, really what we're going to do is we're going to take that 15 and we're going to break that up into a 10 plus 5. Then I'm going to use my associative property to just kind of add up the 10 with that 47 and then add the 5 later. So 47 plus 10, well that's just 47 and 10 more, so that's 57. Then I need to add the 5, 57, add 5, that's still going to give me my 62. So that's another way we could do it. The final way that I could think of was compensation. 
Now compensation is a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 47 plus 15. And we're going to say, you know what, if we could make that 47 a 50, that would be a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross out three of these right here. I'm going to take those away. And I'm just going to draw three little boxes over here. Pretend these are cubes. So now I've got a 50. Because I took three away from the 15. And I changed the 47 up to 50. But now my 50 is not really a 15. is not a 15. It's a 12. Because I took three of them away. So you see how I took three from here. And I put it over there. Well, 15, 12, look how easy that is to add up. That's 62. So those are just a few of the ways that I could think of to solve 47 plus 15. If you can think of another way, that's fantastic. Go ahead and add that as a comment on the video. Teachers, if you would like a copy of the slide deck for your own use in the classroom, you can find it on my website, 5minutemath.net.